I remember when my stepdad, a really nice man, had a heart attack. He wasn't able to work for about three months. And so what did he do? He did a lot of reading. He started doing a lot of reading. And I never knew what to get him, this or that. Wish I'd have known then what I know now. And the other thing is for boys, teenage boys or young men, something that they might enjoy reading. Instead of playing video games and texting all the time. Okay. And something that has, I hate to use the term, but it's a good term, old-fashioned values in it. So I'm going to tell you some authors that have been, that I have enjoyed a lot. Let me tell you the story of how it got started. Three years ago, I was up in uh, Redding, California on vacation. Went to the library and they had a great big Western section there. So I looked at the Western books and I saw the name Zane Gray. I'd heard that name many times when I, as I grew up. And so I got one. It was called the Rainbow Bridge or something like that. And I read it while I was on vacation. That's the first novel that I, I had read for years. I, I had, was not a novel reader. So it was like maybe 30, 40 years I never read a novel. I'm, I'm interested in psychology and theology and, and philosophy, science, sociology, uh, nonfiction books, okay? I wasn't interested in novels. But I pick, picked it up and started reading it and I enjoyed it. So then two years ago, I was back in reading again, summertime. Then I had not, then I didn't read another novel for a whole year, okay? Then, two years ago, I was in Reading again, and I went to the big Western section that they had at the library. And I looked for the Zane Grey books, and then I grabbed one off the shelf. Went back to where we were staying, and I looked at the book, and, oh, no, it wasn't Zane Grey. I'd accidentally picked the wrong bo book from it by another author. I started reading it. You know what? It was good. <laughs> it was good. And who was it by? Louis L'Amour. And I happened to pick up a book, Writers of High Rock. This is one of the four Hopalong Cassidy books that Louis L'Amour wrote. One of the four. It took me back into the days of the Old West. And I liked it because I was born in U Wyoming, grew up in Utah. I loved the West. The description of the scenery was, was very good. And there was a lot of action. Bad guys were doing bad things. And it was a story of a nice man who, who had to fight the bad guys. Somebody, he didn't have a choice. He had to. And uh, at the end, good conquered evil, and uh, he walked away proud. So I, I began. So then I read some other Louis L'Amour books, and as time went by, I began to enjoy reading a little bit of a Louis L'Amour novel every evening. Well, he wrote like 130 of them. I've read over 100 of them now. They were all good. What, what do I like about the Louis L'Amour? novels. First of all, they're set in the days of the Old West. And you learn something about history, and something about horses, and something about being a cowboy, and about the desert, and about the mountains, and like that. So that's good. But what I really like about them is they have tremendous adventure, lots of action. Okay, But the a very high moral tone, no bad language. Women are treated with respect. I found out that was part of the code of the Old West. Women were treated with respect. 
a man would take his hat off in the pres in the presence of, of of a lady, and not use bad language around the lady. It would be respectful. See. And so that's one thing I liked about the, the novels. The women were treated with respect. And when there were women in the novels, which there were, some of them were even about women, where the woman was the main character, a heroine. Um, strong. Strong. Capable. Okay. Now, the other thing that I like is that um, the hero or heroine was always a man or a woman of prince with principle, with honor, with virtue, character, love, honor, all the beautiful virtues. And uh, I like that. 